Hey guys, welcome back. Greatly appreciate you taking the time to check out these videos and comment and stuff. It really does mean a lot. I'm trying to give some good, decent content. So any feedback at all of where you can see things being improved would be fantastic. Today, I want to talk about this key bar. Now, key bar is an interesting American-made tool. Uh, everyday carry kind of pocket device, if you want to say... Yeah, it is a take on a kit option for a Swiss Army knife. Now, this particular model, I have not seen them do a carbon fiber. I just checked the website just yesterday. This is a carbon fiber one, but a lot of times they do these in aluminum and uh, titanium and a few other materials. I don't know if they had issues with the carbon fiber ones or not but I haven't seen them on there for quite a while Let's see if we can keep this to focus on it here but I've had this for over a year and I've used it every day and I think now I'm qualified to kind of talk about it and let you know the pros and the cons the things I like the things I dislike so one is it's a fairly thin format. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it here. Um, I have a few tools in here and we'll go over those a little bit. First thing is this little key ring holder or whatever, however you want to call it. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. Another one is this little multi-tool pry bar item. This is kind of a, a neat little thing. It has, and all these kind of move out of the way. So it has a place for like a little file on it. I don't know what this groove here is for. A bottle opener, little pry bar, flat tip screwdriver. The backside has some uh, measuring marks on it. I don't know how accurate it is. I've never actually zeroed it out. So a couple things with this. One, it's handy. Um, I've used it as a screwdriver. I've used it as a very light pry bar, but keep in mind it's only, you know, prying on that, what is that, not even a quarter 20 screw, a 10, 24 or something like that screw. So it's not gonna have a ton of pry force available, but it's done everything I've needed to. I've uh, scraped off a, a hang nail or a piece of broken fingernail on that. Uh, Again, I have no clue what that's for, if that's to grip something and open it. Bottle opener. I had to actually file on this. This is titanium, but the shape of it was so bad, it would just kind of tear through the lid before it would try to open it. So not, not the best option there. Um, for the price of it, I would have liked to have seen a slightly better fit and finish on this particular tool. Now... Let's go on to some positives, because we have a few other negatives we can talk about, but we'll hold those off some. I have a key in there, and these two little items here are handier than I'll get out. This is what I use this the most for. One, this is like a little toothpick, they call it. I've used this little pick here as a uh, screwdriver for my glasses when a screw fell out once. Um, I've used it to scrape on some things. I've used it to pick some things. I, I've used it for, you know, what you would use a sharp little pointy thing for at times. If we could stay focused, that'd be cool, but I don't know if it's gonna. No. And eh, no, that's totally off. Okay, back to this. If I could get my fat chubby fingers to work. So, there we go. So yeah, it, it works well. These tweezers, I didn't think they'd work as well as it, what they do. They work well, they really do. They're as good, if not better, than any tweezers you'd buy at the dollar store. Just fantastic little tweezers. They work well. They have a decent little tension to them. They have a decent little bite to them. If I could get things to focus all at once so you could possibly see it, would be awesome. 
but yeah, they work good. They got a little bit of a, a groove to them here on the back side, so you don't slip around or off of them. Great little thing. Key in and out, not as easy as some, but it works well. Uh, the way these work is they have like a little hook on them here. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. But you can just grab and just pull that up and they pull up and out of there. Putting this together is going to take you a few tries and maybe a few more than what you want. See all those little washers in there? You gotta stack those in. And so these little hooks here, depending on how they're positioned or little pointy bits, if they happen to stick out a little bit in your pocket, will grab and cause a little bit of a challenge getting in and out. So it took me a few tries of getting the tools where I want, how they go to fit in the pocket and not grab every time that they come out. Now this is the upgraded pocket clip and it, it works, it works well. I wish the fit was a little better. I don't know if you can see how much movement that has and that's as tight as you get it. Um, if you can see down in there, maybe. I'm still learning how to do this on a different screen so I can actually see it and stuff. But down in there, it just goes into a little tab. And it it works, but you have this movement. Um, you can't tighten it any tighter or else you wouldn't be able to move your tools in and out. I do like how it slides in and out of the pocket, but it still holds good retention. So in that aspect, it works. Uh, one negative is with this stupid little clip here. I have a set of keys that I put on here that I only use once in a while. Do you see how that just popped right out of there? It's just sprung in there. But I think you can tell here how easily, if you have something on there that you need to keep on there, can just pop out and be gone. Not necessarily what I would prefer things to do. Well, now it wants to track stuff. So, I have had keys and have had things fall off of this. Luckily, uh, it's been in my pocket every time. So, that's kind of a, a pain. We've lost focus again there. We're back. Looky there. So tracking, not so great yet. But I also noticed when I looked at their website last night that they didn't have this style on here anymore. So they probably corrected it because I think everybody would have problems with the way that it is. So it is a different design now. Um, and that's one thing about the company that... I want to kind of bring up, and I, I think that's a good thing. It's good that, you know, they're addressing and taking things off. But availability, because I know there for a little while you could get like a knife that would go in here, but that knife is no longer available. I, I didn't see it on there. There is a little razor blade attachment thing that can go on there and different bottle openers and different things. But I don't know if it's just production and keeping up that it's not staying in stock that they're having issues with it that way or if they aren't if they aren't being successful with them or they aren't holding up as they expected or what the what it is longevity wise I think by this model after a, a year's worth of use the fit and finish I'm going to say is okay but for the price of it it's not I mean, I got this one on a clearance sale, probably why there's no more carbon, because it's supposed to even have copper inlay in it, and it doesn't. But uh, I got this on a, a clearance sale, and I bought the a lot of the pieces together. It's windy, so I don't know if you're hearing all that or not. But I bought the pieces in, like, little kits and stuff like that, because 
you could save a little bit of money on them. And I still spent well over a hundred dollars on this thing. And they have some, just the frame itself is starting out at like 150, $170. Granted, this has been a year. So they've had a year to, you know, make everything better and make everything pretty and see if you can see any of that carbon inlay in there or not, which that's cool. But you can't because I can't even see it in person really. But for the price point, I just expect a little bit more. And I am all about supporting an American company. And I think it is a great, neat idea. I obviously have not stopped carrying mine. Mine's with me almost any day that I leave the house. This is with me. Plain and simple. So it it's, serves its function. It serves its purpose. It's working well for all of that. You know, it is nice to have handy little... Oh, and I forgot about this little thing. On the end of that pry bar is another little file option. There. And you can kind of see it. Doesn't stick out very far. But just enough to where, you know, if you have a edge of a fingernail that's needing filed down or something like that, it works. Hopefully they've improved their fit and finish a little bit. I think it deserves that at the price point that it's at. You know, it's just one of those things that could be better. Let's move this around a little bit. I'm going the opposite way. Hey, I'm over here. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's see if this will... focus down in there but what are your thoughts what do you have that kind of i mean is a swiss army knife just the best option uh, it, this has a couple things that they don't and if you've watched my videos you know i recently got a leatherman um and it's big and stuff you can add screwdrivers to this a regular and a phillips um but you just keep getting wider and wider and wider. And how wide do you want that in your pocket? How heavy do you want it? It is nice to have, you know, usable tools. I think the way this one's set up, I wouldn't add a screwdriver to this. I haven't for good reason. I don't need it any wider. And these items that are in here are useful items for me. This piece here, I think is crap. I can't. I can't remember how much the new clip costs that they have, but it's like $17. And I'm hesitant to pay that kind of money. One, is the quality going to be improved? Two, by that kind of money, are we talking, you know, I hope I've been in focus the whole time. Are we talking that it's going to actually be better? you know, with the fit and finish that are on some of these things, am I going to see a return on investment? Three is I have to take this apart. And those little washers in there, they do not always cooperate as easy as what you think. Since it's on the head side here and not the screw side here, that means that screw or the thread side, that means it has to come all the way out. That means keeping all those stacked and in order no, it's not hard. It's just one of those things like, man, I wish there was a little easier way. You know, I think having bushings or spacers in different dimensions versus a bunch of little flat washers. Flat washers are cheap. A little bushing would cost a little bit more money. Flat washers, you can adjust the size, yada, yada. I get it. It's the right business choice to make. But in consumer wise is, man. That's an extra hassle that I didn't want to have to deal with. Anyways, that's kind of my take on it. Is it worth, let's just say 120 bucks. Is this worth 120 bucks? Oh, geez. Mm. No, it's not. If I lost this or it broke, I would, I'd have a, I'd, I'd look to replace it. 
but I don't think I would necessarily spend this kind of money on replacing it. But I do love the functionality. The size of it is small enough that it's not a, an annoyance or intrusive, and it works well. So, yeah. Do you have something like this that works better that you like? Um, or is it, you know, just more cost? Because if this was 50 bucks all day long and it broke and I can replace all of it for 50 bucks. Another thing is if something's going to break, you know, it's probably going to be one of these screws or one of these, you know, side plates or whatever, or if it were aluminum, it may bend or something. So you wouldn't have to replace everything. You can replace it piece by piece and it would be a lot cheaper. I don't know how cheap the cheapest side plate base kit is. I'm thinking it was like 50 bucks or something like that. So, uh, still I think 50 for just the side plates or even 30 for just the side plates. It's getting a little, little steep. I'd want, I'd want some tools to come with it, but yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Does it look better up there? No, that disappeared. Come here, focus. Doesn't want to. As you can tell, I'm not a great camera operator, I guess. Me and video, we have issues. Not the best. <laughs> Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Went too long on this. Ramble, ramble, ramble. <laughs>